Bienvenidos, welcome back to my channel. Thank you, I know it's been a minute since my last video, um, you know, life, but I hope to be more consistent in the future, in the future, wow. But, <laughs> um, but thanks for checking out another video. And if you are new here on this channel, I talk about what I'm learning to grow and know how to live well in Christ. So if you wanna grow and know with me, please hit the subscribe button and the reminder bell so that you get those emails you know that tell you when there's a new video out <laughs> and you never miss a video from me so that would be great but only if you want to <laughs> um, but again thank you for checking this video out um in this video i'm going to be reflecting and re kind of reflecting on uh what i've been posting on my social media on my instagram i post daily bible verses um that fit a theme Hopefully soon I'll be able to post them on YouTube so you don't have to like change mediums to like <laughs> check them out. Um, but if you do want to check them out, uh, my Instagram will be somewhere in this video right now. And um, you can um, see them every day, daily Bible verses. This week the theme was surrender. So in my reply, you know, I was praying to God like what should this video be about? And, um, you know, he brought three words to me and they've been three words that I've been learning he's been teaching me on and helping me with um, and all of them involve me having to surrender to God to be able to do them and get through them and go through those processes so um, in this video I want to talk about healing wholeness and love all of which again <laughs> I really had to surrender to even get through any of them so first off um, healing um, all of these first I want to say sorry <laughs> I'm like kind of all over the place you know I haven't been recording in a while but um I want to also say that all three of these um, have been helping me be able to, um, you know, be who God created me to be, um, really live well and, you know, be who, you know, I want to be, like, be myself and, like, um, live in the identity that God's given me and all that stuff. So I will start off by talking about healing and just, you know, it's been a process for me. God has helped me a lot through healing, um, whether it's and I'm just in general, I'll say healing for me and I'm probably any of you out there, whether it's relationships or traumatic episodes or events or just any type of healing, whether it's physical or emotional or spiritual or mental, all of that requires healing. Um, all of that requires healing. Um, God can do. He's a healer. So it's very possible um, if you are hoping for healing and praying for healing, God is really capable, able and faithful and wants to heal. Um, and I've seen in my life how he heals differently in, in different ways. So one, first off, Jesus, God. He heals directly through his spirit, um, through prayer, just heals. I know for me, he did a lot of healing in me, just my, my spending time with him and praying and reading his word and just opening up and being vulnerable to him. And just through that communication, just that willingness to surrender to him and open up, um, giving him permission to heal me. He healed me a lot just through that alone. Um, and, and then to me, I'm like, okay, I just need God in me. Just God in me, you know, he can heal me. And I'll be completely healed and um, no wounds or scars or whatever to fester. I just need him, him and me. Um, and then <laughs> I realized and I learned that it just, you know, God sometimes wants to use people and that is okay. So sometimes, you know, healing can come straight from him. And then also he may use people, whether it's um, people that are close to you, family, friends, um, relationship, like people you're in a relationship with or whatever, he can use them to heal. And what I've seen is that, you know, that dialogue with a person and yourself can really, really be helpful. Um, they get you to open up more, they ask questions, the questions that you didn't even think about, and then you can answer and be like, oh yeah, that too. And, all that stuff just they they help you open up for me they they really help me open up um when people i talk to um and that's already in itself fostered healing and praying with them as well um and their prayers what god tells them to pray and, and just what comes to their mind and, and just that, those prayers have been powerful and i've shared a little bit about um so those prayers in in past videos so like my a testimony deliverance from pain if you want to check it out um that is one testimony on that and how god brought healing through that he also i've seen uses healing um uses professionals to heal so whether that's a counselor therapist a psychiatrist psychologist whatever 
um, has definitely used them. They've been training us. They've studied how to help people um, improve their emotional and mental health. So they definitely, you know, I go to a counselor, so I, just opening up to her has helped me a lot um, with healing as well and figuring out life and just the whole nine. Um, obviously, physical healing and going to doctors, um, going to the dentist, I don't know, <laughs> like all that stuff. Um, obviously, God uses them as well for healing. Um, so healing is possible and God uses many people and God uses himself and his spirit and his power. All of them are needed, I've seen in my life. For healing and that all takes surrender to God's will what he brings you to whether he tells you to go to a counselor like he was really prompting me to go to a counselor whether he tells you to trust this person and open up to them like he did have to do with me I had to surrender and just trust him and believe him um, to open up to this person that, that actually ended up he used to heal me as well I and mean, whether it's that's opening up and being vulnerable in prayer and surrendering to him to allow his power to heal you um, straight up and direct so <laughs> that's the first first thing so God's really just been helping me with that another thing God's been helping me with and teaching me on um, where I had to surrender more is wholeness so I often hear you know the idea of being a whole person um, but before going into relationship or I don't know just just in life just wanting that, that the striving to be a whole person kind of thing um, I think at first I was a little confused of what that meant, but I think, and I think, you know, maybe there's different definitions, but in my view, a whole person, quote unquote, is someone who is totally content with who they are, totally happy with who they are, who God created them to be, not looking at someone else, not comparing themselves to other people, wanting to be a different person per se, but being happy with themselves and embracing themselves. So first off, um, knowing your value to in order to be a whole person you gotta know your value and that comes from knowing the value of being a child of God what does that really mean to be an heir to the throne to be an heir of God as Paul talks about in Galatians I think I might have to link that here or look that up but we are heirs we are God's heirs we are his children what does that really mean and knowing our value in the gifts that he's given us, the personality that he's given us, the sense of humor that he's given us, just the fact that we are his image bearers, like an image bearers of, of a big creator, of a, of a beautiful being, of, of a powerful, strong, courageous being who is God. We are his image bearers. Just fully knowing our value in that, that comes from reading scripture about you know who we are in Christ about the value about um, God's creation and um, how he looks at his creation and values his creation um, that comes with asking God praying to God asking him to open our eyes to knowing our value that comes with a support group people around us to remind us of the value even for me like my friend gave me um, for my birthday which was what month is this <laughs> my birthday was last month so my friend gave me these uh, these graphics like uh, digital okay what they're sorry my friend gave me, I'm looking at the wall because it's on the wall maybe I'll add a clip to show you but probably not <laughs> let me be honest with you but uh, she sent me um, like printouts of someone created like Bible verses put on the printouts and they have like flowers graphics on them and it's really pretty but they are reminders of who I am so reminders of that I'm loved by God Bible verses, reminders of that I can trust in God, just good reminders to always read um, whenever I get up, because I put them on the wall to remind myself um, to always just know my value in Christ and I can trust in Him. He loves me and those things. Um, this also um, comes with, like, in order to be a whole person, I believe and I think, <laughs> um, comes with loving ourselves. So knowing our value also comes with loving who we are, loving our personality, loving our gifts that God gave us, loving um, you know what we look like and being confident, loving <laughs> just things about us um, that make us unique, that God loves. If God can love us, why can't we love ourselves? And that's not to say we love ourselves above others, or we love ourselves above God, or we are arrogant or egotistical or whatever, self-conceited, self you know what I'm saying. Um, that's not to say that, but but the Bible does say love your neighbor as yourself. So how can we love our neighbor if we don't love ourselves? You know, um, so really trying to learn how to love ourselves 
still been a journey for me. Um, I think, you know, we're getting there on that process. I think really recognizing my value and, and, and seeing the value of my gifts that God's given me and just that, you know, my personality is no, not too bad, you know, those kind of things, um, being reminded of that, being surrounded by people who love me to remind me of that and just going to God in prayer and asking him to continuously remind me of those things has helped me a lot to love myself and being content with who I am, not trying to be anyone else. Again, it's all a learning, all a learning process. I'm sure I'll be on this road for the rest of my life, but um, yeah, we're getting there. Um, and lastly, in terms of being a whole person, I believe also comes with recognizing that we're imperfect people so that we can receive God's grace. When we recognize that we're imperfect and really embrace our imperfections and know that, you know, we're, we're human and we sin and we mess up, and then we won't have to dwell on those mistakes as much as we do, as tend to, I know I tend to, or dwell on those mess ups to t let those things um, put, let those things become our identity. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, we won't let our mistakes and mess ups let become our identity because we recognize, you know, one, everyone is imperfect. We recognize that two, God knows that we're imperfect. And we recognize that three, that's just, you know, how we're create just that's just <laughs> the fall you know we're just imperfect people um living life and we're we need god to help us um to help fix our mess ups and our mistakes and and that we can receive god's grace and be happy that he's given it to us at all and be happy with the just who we are in that in that at that point because we know that we're gonna mess up and that's okay um that's normal that's what's expected and we can go back to God to help us fix whatever we do mess up. And we can just be happy with, you know, the fact that sometimes we're wrong, you know. I think that's definitely, it's a humbling process. It's a process of surrender again. And it's kind of like um, a relieving process that we don't have to put so much pressure on ourselves to be perfect. Because we can try really hard, but we need God to not mess up. We need God to... Um, be the best of ourselves and when in those times when we do mess up we know that we need God to redeem us and give us grace and fix our problems like I said so <laughs> that was a long-winded answer but yes um yeah so and the next part of uh, the next thing that God's really been helping me with lately especially but yeah definitely lately but just in general um where I really had to surrender was love 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 and receiving god's love receiving other people's love and giving love to others um it's kind of interesting because i know i've i've heard before you know when we can when we receive god's love and and see his love and just accept it and read it in the bible we can then be able to give love to others, you know, we can receive love from others and we can give love to others. Um, and it's interesting because with me, God has been really helping me by helping me love others first. So like I had to surrender, you know, all that I thought, all my feelings and be like, what is this feeling? All this stuff, <laughs> like trying to figure out because apparently I've been loving people, but like not fully recognizing it. So now fully recognizing my love for people um, because I've surrendered those feelings to God and opening up to him about it and being vulnerable and like fully receiving the fact that or embracing the fact that I love others, I've been able to see how great God's love is for me. Like me just seeing how much I can, I love someone. I'm like, wow, if I can love this person this much, how much more does God love me? So God's really been using people that I love to show me his love for me so that I can receive his love better. And because I can receive his love better, I can receive other people's love. It's like, it's really twisted for me. I feel like it's, it's usually like a different order for other people. But yeah, what I've learned is no matter what order God's given you, um, surrendering our feelings and opening up to him and um, in order to just be okay with loving others or letting others love us Le letting others love us <laughs> just be okay with that um 
has been a tremendous way that God has been able to open up my eyes to receive his love and understand how much he loves me, even just a little bit, because I'm sure just his tremendous love is just something that's unfathomable that I couldn't fully understand, but even more I can understand because of um, he put love in my heart for others. And now I'm like, dang, this is what love is, Jesus, you know, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, but that really does take um, going to God to be able to even receive that kind of love and surrendering, surrendering to him. So, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, those three things, healing, wholeness, and love is what God's been teaching me as I surrender to him. And it's really been an amazing journey. All of this, it's been a blessing and I've really felt better as a person. And you know, that journey of trying to live well in Christ has been happening <laughs> more and more, more and more. And I'm grateful for, to God for that. Um, I hope this video has helped you, opened your eyes, have made you think some of what, how you can surrender to God or what you want to receive from God. And um, yeah, I, I hope it's been helpful. If it has been, or if, even if you just like the video, or if it was intriguing, or anything like that, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions about it, if you've um, seen how God's been healing you, or helping you be a whole person, or helping you give or receive love, please comment below. If you have a topic that you want me to talk about in another video, please leave that below. Literally just, you can just, whatever, <laughs> comment below if you want. Um, I, I'm trying to get better on sorting through the comments to reply and uh, where I feel like I should and messages as well. So thank you all for commenting. Thank you all for messaging me on my website. Thank you all, um, for, for, yeah, just for, I don't know, being willing to, um, and ask for help or just give encouraging messages. It's very helpful for me to, to know that y'all like these videos. So before I go on and on and on, I will end here and thank y'all for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time.